Hi, we are going to go through 2016 part A right now. Now, this is a very special part because you're going to do all the things by following exactly what they say as per the instruction. And the brilliant thing in the actual exam, you're actually given a marker. So, what I taught you really works. Okay, so get ready, let's begin. Hi. Today, we are going to go through 2016 GCE O-Level Practical Exam. So, are you ready? Let's begin. Now, question number one says that you are provided with three solutions, P, Q, and R, and this solution are not necessary in this order. Okay, you are given dilute hydrochloric acid, aqueous silver nitrate, and aqueous sodium carbonate. Now, uh, the fastest way that I will do this is I will write down the chemical formula, HCl, AgNO3 and Na2CO3 and I'm sure all of you that's watching you know this very well okay carry out the following experiment and you should test any guesses evolved carefully record your observation the volume given below are approximate and should be estimated rather than measured now I'm sure all this uh, you're very familiar with already let's move on then they go on to say apart from those containing group 1 metal ions or metal carbonates are considered to be insoluble this is a very good hint that they're trying to set, tell us but doesn't matter uh, let's move on because as i always say we start with pe p stands for preparation and e stands for execution so let's prepare first okay over here here says add about one cm cube of solution p into a clean test tube these are all the test tube given i have with me p Q and R. Okay, so right now, let's do the preparation. Over here, you can see that, all right, I need to prepare a 1 cm cube of P. So 1 cm cube of P. This is 2 cm cube, 1 cm cube of P. I just need to make sure that I label it P. And another 1 cm cube of Q. And then another 1 cm cube of R. Now remember, all these are estimated. Now over here, this is A part 1. I make sure that I label A part 1. Okay, label nicely and let's put it back. Okay, let's move on to the second page then. Now the second page go on to say is that add about 1 cm cube of R into a clean test tube. And then to this test tube, add about 1 cm cube of solution P. Shake the mixture thoroughly until no further change is seen. And to the same test tube, add about 1 cm cube of solution Q. So it's about the same, but we just keep on changing from R this time around to P to Q. So I make sure I write down properly R, P, and Q. And this is A part 2. Next one, part 3. This part, this round, I add about 1 cm cube of solution Q into a test tube. To this test tube, add about 1 cm cube of solution R. Shake the mixture until no further change is seen. And to the same test tube, add about 1 cm cube of solution P. Okay, so same thing, Q, 1 cm cube. And another 1 cm cube of R. And to this, another 1 cm cube of P. Remember, all these are estimated, ah, but I have lovely write them all down already. Okay, so nicely done. Let me put this back over here at this part. Okay, coming back to here, let's see how much more preparation do I need to do. Now, to the next part, it seems like they say add about 1 cm depth of solution P into a boiling tube. And this time round, you add copper sulfates. It seems like this portion here, I have a quick glance over it. It says that it's copper sulfate again. And then there's another copper sulfate again over here. It's also 2 cm depth of solution Q into a clean boiling tube. And then add about 2 cm cube depth of copper sulfate. So it seems that they are similar. And then the next one, 1 cm depth of solution R to a clean boiling tube. And then to this, add another 1 cm depth of copper sulfate. Okay, so it seems like they are repeating it, but now with copper sulfate solution. Okay, then the, uh, behind, have a quick glance. They say that use your observation in A. 
Part A only, deduce which solution PQ or R contains silver nitrate. Then let me uh, see a quick glance over here in part 2. You're actually looking for what? Deduce which of the solution PQ and R contain HCl. So they are looking for AgNO3 and HCl here. Uh, and O are in part A. Then these are the one, write a balance equation for part B now, alright, for copper 2 sulfate. So from all this, I can see that, hey, A I can do first since I already prepare, and then B seems to be another one. So as I say, this time round, let's do the preparation already, let, we can start on with the execution. So without further ado, let's do our execution now. So I'm going to execute this quickly, okay. So first, let's just follow, this is part 1, okay, P, at P. 1 cm cube, and then now let me add Q. Okay, now I notice that I have precipitate coming out, but this precipitate doesn't look very similar to the normal precipitate. Okay, with a good black background over here, I actually feel that uh, I actually saw a pale yellow precipitate form. So now I'm going to write down before I move on further. First, because I add solution P, solution P is a clear solution. Okay, upon adding solution Q, a pale yellow PPT was observed. Now, before I add R, okay, I want to pause for a while because I notice here that one of them contain carbonate and one of them contain acid. So, whenever acid is added to a carbonate, CO2 is produced. I should have prepared lime water, but it's not too late. Now I discover it, so let's quickly prepare our lime water. Prepare it beforehand, okay, put it at the side. Okay, and then let me put the long tube inside here, put it at the side here, just in case I see any effervescent, I know what to do. Now, my turn, let's add R. Wow, okay, I see bubbles forming and let's see if any changes is in. Actually, I have seen over here white precipitate is forming at the side here. Let me use a black color uh, background so that you can see much clearer. Let me shake this more. Yep. Okay, it's a slight white precipitate, okay, but I think uh, the camera hopefully can capture it a little bit more. So nonetheless, okay, because Nonetheless, because there is um, a carbonate present, I can easily assume that the effervescent produced is actually carbon dioxide. So what I'm going to do right now is, to the same test they say add uh, R. So quickly write down upon adding R. Effervescent, E-F-F-E-R-V-E-S-C-E-N-C-E. -E -E -E. Effervescent is produced. Now as I always say, every time, Bubbles is in, remember to use this word effervescent over here, right here, okay? Let me put this back, okay? And let me clip this up, okay? Now, I have finished this part here, let's move on to the second part. Let me change a piece of paper, the second portion right now, alright? Same thing, okay? This is my next part, so we're going to add R. So now, let me make sure I get it correct, this is my R. followed by my P. Okay, R is a clear solution. Let me add P. Okay, now this one is really white PPT. So I'm going to write down over here. R is a clear solution. Upon adding P, white PPT is produced. 
Okay. Now you have to shake the mixture thoroughly until no further change is seen. Shaking, no further change is seen. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, that's the best that I can get right now. Let's move on to quickly add my Q. One cm cube of Q. Whoa, okay, bubble forming again. Let me quickly use this. Okay, now I should change the lime water so hopefully I have time. All right. Okay, now this is not so good just now because I did the lime water a little later. I should have prepped it beforehand, okay? But never mind. Let's see. But I saw F of So I'm going to play a little bit of ch uh, cheating here. I'm going to add a little bit more Q. Okay, there are more F of See if I can get a good reaction now. But nonetheless, even if I don't get any reaction, I can actually be smart enough to know that carbon dioxide is produced. Okay? Now, you must remember, it's not about how much we're going to do, it's about how good we're going to write it down. So, right now, I'm going to write this down. Upon adding solution Q, okay, effervescent, E F F E R V E S C E N C E is produced. Gas produced gives a white PPT in the lime water. In exam, the chance of you getting a white PPT in a, the in the lime water could be possible, could be not possible. But like I say, let's be exam smart. You can see that there is carbon dioxide producers here because why there is a hcl and there is a carbonate so co2 definitely will be produced so i'm going to go back to here and add on something else upon adding p everversion is produced gas evolve bubble okay through lime water gives a white ppt Okay, so let's be exam smart. Let's move on to, to the third part right now. Same thing, but this time round, I'll be smart enough to prepare some more lime water. Hopefully, this time round, the lime water will not fail me. But even if it fails me, let I say, okay, I must be able to react on the spot. So, let's add Q. And then follow by R. Whoa. Bubble form, let's see. Okay, both solutions is clear, but upon adding effervescent is produced, I quickly write Q is a clear or colorless solution. Okay, if you write clear solution or colorless solution, both are acceptable. Okay, I hopefully you can see my handwriting. Okay, then upon adding R. Effervescent is produced. Gas evolve when added, when bubbled, sorry. Bubbled through. Let me write better so that you all can see. Bubbled through lime water gives a white PPT. Okay, let's be exam smart. Huh? Okay, now, right now, let's add P. Okay, I can clearly see white precipitate forming. Let me add to one. Okay, okay, slowly add and then white precipitate is it upon adding P. White PPT was observed. Okay, let's put this back. All right, so we have complete the first part already. Well, you have watched part A of 2016 and you notice that I didn't use the qualitative analysis notes at all. It's just about writing down the observation. But one thing that I'm very particular is the bubbles. You notice that I prepare my lime water, I put it aside, knowing that the chance of carbon dioxide coming out is very high. So I just keep on testing and keep on testing. So I have things prepared nicely. So that is very important technique. So remember to prepare. So let's get ready and let's watch part B.